Saturn. Saturn. It just caresses you. It's so sexy. This is like... I've been in the fragrance game forever and I don't care if you like this perfume or not, I'm gonna wear it because I know what it is. This is what happens when you know you just have too many perfumes. Like I did promise I'd come back with my niche perfumes and my private blend perfumes. I should kind of explain what the difference is. So private blend fragrances are usually fragrances that a designer house has created a group of perfumes like exclusive perfumes popular fragrances that they create for their designer house and then there's the private blends that are more niche within the designer brand if that makes any sense now niche perfumes are like indie brands they are like exclusively focusing on creating perfumes they don't sell clothes they don't sell other things they just focus on perfumes what i'll do is i'll point out which fragrances are my private blend fragrances and which ones are the niche ones so i am dying with excitement and you guys will get a chance to see what i have like a sneak peek and you will be able to suggest some new things in the comment section so let's get started you know i have a few of this collection in my perfume wardrobe these are private blend fragrances by lancome so there's the ordinary lancome fragrances that they sell and then there's these private blends that are more i guess exclusive a little bit more expensive and sometimes harder to find so latra oud is a an oud scent not much sweetness in there at all um we could talk about the notes another time but i'm just showing you what is in my little collection so lautre oud private blend from lancome next up in the same range this is pivon print temps and these are all 100 ml bottles and this one is a more floral clean scent oof it's not one i'm used to just yet but on a really hot day this would be nice it smells a bit green and floral so yes honestly you really get used to purchasing these perfumes also because of the bottles and they just look so good but i have my own favorite scents from this collection so oranges bigarati's is I have moments for it it has a bit of green and citrus orange notes it's not my go-to but as you can see it's different from the last bottle in terms of how the lid is the other one's gold and this is white and they're all magnetic and they have this gold leafing here and the name of the perfume in the front they're all 100 ml auto performs and they're great next up is iris drage like one of my favorites from this collection it is a go-to especially in spring and summer for me i get so many compliments for this one so i have been more than willing to take it around it's basically a candid iris scent so yes next up is jasmine's mazapin this is sort of new in my collection i did unbox this in i'll link the video in the description but this is a candied jasmine juice basically and yes i i like it along with iris drager i will get through this bottle i can already tell it's quite nice next up is roses barbaranza okay i have sprayed this a lot more times than what it's appearing like in this bottle but i actually like this when you first try this perfume you will not like the initial spray and then when it settles it's so lovely it's roses it's sort of musky and boozy oh it's actually sweet now that we've been well acquainted i really like roses paparazzo this is the original old bouquet 
and there's a formulated version of Oud Bouquet in this type of bottle. They're different, but you know, same brand. I wish I can find my Oud Bouquet. It's somewhere, it's somewhere. But you guys have seen me unbox it in my Maison Lancome collection unboxing. Um, I'll also link that video in the description box if you have not seen it and you can get an idea of other perfumes that I unboxed all together. Now, Oud Bouquet is an Oud scent with a nice rose in there. It's one of the best in the market. If you like Oud and Rose scents, I also have Velvet, Rose and Oud from Jo Malone and that's really nice but this is more concentrated the oil in here is just amazing and i'm sad to say this is only 75 mils but it's so concentrated that i have not gone through too much of it it's gonna take a while to get through this bottle but i love this i've had a few compliments and then other people who are not familiar with oud scents are like what what is that it doesn't I don't like that smell on you because you know they used to sweet scents on me and they're like uh but I like it so I'll wear it you know um yeah Oud Bouquet by Lancome Paris Lautre Oud and this is also Lautre Oud but this is more concentrated than this formulated version from Lancome there's no rose in here it's just more oud and a little bit of sweetness so it's a really nice scent as well winter where are you i'm so eager to wear these baccarat rouge 540 auto perform extract right here these are niche perfumes because maison francis kirk de Jean, who created these perfumes exclusively just works on perfumes his brand does not do clothing fashion shoes bags no they just focus on perfumes that is why it is a niche brand so that's what we call a niche brand anyway these are i'd say the most popular of his fragrances before he created this he was creating scents for many other brands way before that are uh, very popular scents but nobody knew that it was him behind them um, and then he ventured off and created his own company so to speak and came out with these and it's been a staple a favorite most loved next up are these two fragrances i purchased from the frederick mal house okay let's start with portrait of a lady oh oh okay so this is portrait of a lady from the frederick mal house frederick mal owns this particular niche perfume brand he contracts different perfumers to come and create scents for him so dominique ropion created portrait of a lady it's a lovely rose scent so I have spoken about it but I think I need to talk about it more and I hope to purchase more from this brand because they have original ideas you know and this one is called Mosque Rovageur it was also created by Dominique Robion he is great and these are one of the most famous from this brand you know his perfumes have done really well for yeah I like Frederick Malhouse. They have great, great perfumes. Maurice Roussel created Masque of Azure. Dominique Ropion created Portrait of a Lady. Okay, okay. This is what happens when you know you just have too many perfumes. Like Maurice Roussel did well with Masque of Azure. This is stinky SEX situations, you know? So it's, it's not for a, brand new nose that he's just you know coming out in fragrance no this is like i've been in the fragrance game forever and i don't care if you like this perfume or not i'm gonna wear it because i know what it is no don't don't blind buy this don't do it oud 
satin mood okay maison francis kurt jean paris i should have mentioned this with the baccarat but don't never mind forgive me for that anyway this is so sexy oud it's smelling a lot sweeter to me now that i've tried stronger ouds this is quite sweet actually oh like a you know satin satin it just caresses you it's so sexy this is one of my sexy time perfumes and i did mention this in my sexiest fragrances like collection type of thing i'll link that video in the description but i will also do another one this year and if you watch the, the last one that i did it'll also make sense when you watch the next one coming so i i really like this and it doesn't look like i'm getting through it but i am okay i'm just a light sprayer but it's so concentrated it is so good lira 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 Ugh. this is a new acquisition in my collection it goes at the top you know it's like when we spend big dollars it pays off you, you get what you pay for lira is now in my collection oh lira 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 next is atkinson's this is oud save the queen that's it there uh, the reflection of the bottle it's a really nice gold it's an oud There's a floral aspect in it that I like. And yes, it's still in my collection. Next up is Watton from the Enfus collection. This is a great Middle Eastern perfume. It has a clear bottom, but um, the gold is coming off. Why? Why? Okay, look this is not a bottle you want to fiddle with too much because the the gold is coming off anyway um this is a new perfume in my collection that was semi new and it's really nice it has like a pineapple aspect to it and oody at the same time you know middle eastern scents are really nice so go check it out anyway this is in my collection this is a mouage on a woman it's a new purchase in my collection and yeah i can't wait to use it love it more i have sprayed it a couple times already and it is such a great signature scent like you smell expensive you smell clean sophisticated yeah mm. next is a mouage journey this one is slightly more complicated to explain but it's it's definitely a treasure in my collection i like these odd smelling perfumes you know that make you stand out but in the right way in a good way kind of standing out right so yeah i love it i love the bottles they're so classy Next is Amouage Sunshine. They're all 100 ml bottles. I'm so excited to have these in my collection. And now I'm tempted to buy more from Amouage. Can I be stopped? I don't know. <laughs> but this is so lovely too. I am happy I have it. Montal Paris. Okay should this be in this collection i guess it's not one of the mainstream designer perfumes this is more private blend type of thing oh intense cafe yes it smells a bit date like sexy as well this was a recommended scent by a subscriber and I don't regret it. It's lovely. 
I'm trying to remember who recommended it to me. I'll have to go back and, and figure out who it was. I think it was when I first started YouTube. When I first did my perfume collection, it was my designer perfume collection video. Someone in the comment section said, oh, have you tried Intense Cafe? I said, no girl, I have not. Like go and try it or buy it. It's blind buy worthy. <laughs> and I did, so here we are. Next up is Delena Exclusive. She was a blind buy, recent blind buy. And I was saying in that unboxing, how could you guys not tell me about Delena Exclusive? Dokas, Dokas Hey, she commented and said that I should also try Kasili, which I will. Mm, Bessa. She said to try, oh, what was it in the same range, which I will. I think I should just go and try all of them. I might blind buy some of them. Anyway, I love that I have this in my collection. I am so glad that I have it. I'm always eager for recommendations from my subscribers because most of you have seen all my videos and you know what my taste is. And most of you have similar tastes to mine. And so your recommendations have always been really great. And it's not like I know everything. I don't know everything and nobody knows everything. And you know, it's great that I have a channel, but I find that my subscribers have a wider palette. I'm trying to think of a good name to use other than subscribers lovelies my lovelies I'm gonna call you guys my lovelies because subscribers is a bit mm. anyway my lovelies recommend really great scents and most of you I think have a really wide palette it's always great when you recommend great scents to me and I have blind bought a few and I've been happy with all of them Parfums de Mali is a brand that I need to dive into Casilli is on the list and there's another one with that pink was it a no it was an orange bottle girl I'm so sorry Bessa I'm gonna look at your comment again and I'm gonna write the name of the perfume down so that I don't forget yeah I am happy to have Delina exclusive lastly but not least well definitely least actually this this perfume is so tea and floral based, like so far from my liking that I just can't deal with it. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know anyone in my life currently who would want this. They might just like it for the bottle, but the perfume itself is just too floral and too tea based. But the bottle is a work of art. <laughs> And anyway, I'll just keep it for the bottle. I think that's what's gonna end up happening. My dearest lovelies, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have already subscribed, that you enjoyed this video and you'll give it a thumbs up. And I hope you leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Do you own any of the perfumes I have? And what do you have in your collection? I'm so eager to know. I hope you stick around and watch my next videos. Thank you again, bye.